Defacing our public lands has always been a nationwide problem, from state parks to federal public lands. Graffiti can be seen both on the left and right sides of our highway in Grand Junction, which, which takes away from the beauty and naturalness of our city. To help solve this issue, we brought in Miss Iris Salamanca with the BLM. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you for coming on, taking some time out of your day yeah. today. Yeah, no, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So, Miss Salamanca, um, how do you guys plan to address this issue? Yeah, so this is a pretty recent incident. Um, I actually noticed it a day going up to do some volunteer work um, at the Big Dominguez campground, just clearing up some stuff. Um, and I was very. <laughs> not happy to see all this. It just, it's an eyesore. Um, and so what I decided to do is reach out to some of our partners. So the Western Colorado Climbing Coalition, um, that 141 stretch of the highway is a big for climbers. Um, and so we have a, a group there that they help us monitor that area. They help clean up, um, it, they do amazing work. And so I reached out to them. Uh, they've been helping me try to get the word out and you're just trying to get basically hands um, on the land and as well as Colorado Department of Transportation. They're gonna be also providing us some assistance with signage, but we're basically gonna go out, go out there, uh, gonna use some product called Elephant Snot. Sounds really great. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a fun time. Yeah, but it does really great at removing the graffiti and so it's just gonna be about getting those hands on there. Yes, ma'am, and I love that you're taking the initiative to, you know, help clean up this land. So, Ms. Salamanca, where is that 141 the only place that you guys will be cleaning up or where? So, this, and for this uh, event, yes. Um, it's going to be basically from Whitewater to about Cactus Park, which is about an eight mile or so stretch okay. of river, uh, stretch of the highway. Um, and so, it, because, so all, like I said, all of a sudden we saw multiple uh, sites of this just show up one day. And so, um, that's why we're going to focus on this side. Yes, However, there are other spots that we do also have some issues um, that we're going to have rangers and other basically employees uh, help out to clean up when they go out there. <laughs> yes, Ms. Salamaka, so when is this um, cleanup event going to be? So this is happening tomorrow at 9. Um, I'm asking anybody who's interested in participating to come on out and meet me at the Tabawash Trailhead. And so that's going to be located along that 141 turnoff. I have a, like signs, we all have an easy up, so you can't miss where we will be. Um, because it's a, like throughout a stretch of the highway, I am gonna be splitting uh, into groups, you know, with some of the other rangers. So we're gonna meet there, kind of talk about what's going on, how to use the, uh, what we have, and make sure everybody has all the necessary materials, gloves, safety glasses, um, and then we'll get going. Thanks, ma'am. And uh, one last question for you, Ms. Iris. If somebody wants to get in contact with you to sign up for this event, how can they do so? So um, there's no need to sign up. You kind of can just show up. But if you want to okay. contact me regardless, um, you can call our office, 970-244-3000. Um, um, that's our general line. I help answer that. I work at the front as well. Um, I'm the volunteer and visitor service coordinator. So I do a little bit of everything. Um, you can also come to the office today. Uh, we are open till 430. And I will be there. So you can always still come on in, ask any questions, uh, including, um, you know, is there age restrictions? There is not. Um, you know. Thankfully, the, what we're going to be using is biodegradable, it's not flammable, so I'm pretty comfortable with volunteers using it. Um, so in case there's any questions like that, you can come in or give us a call to that number I gave you, 970-244-3000, um, and I'm more than happy to answer anybody's questions. 